Today I show you how to make this out of a standard milk jug. So we want to see whether we can mold this piece out of a milk jug, which, you know, this is a milk jug here. I have a screw, same diameter, looks like the same length actually. And what I'm trying to do is I'll, I'll take a a lid, um, take the inside out. So this is gonna be my my mold. This guy is, fits in fits in quite nicely. What am I gonna do? I'll take some aluminum. Just sprinkle enough to cover the bottom because I want to have the side of it, so I want to have a bottom cover. Then I will melt this. Once this is melted, I'll put the bolt in. Turn my grill up to about 200 Celsius. Mold in here, right there. Shut the lid. Let's see what happens. Five minutes later, temperature has gone up quite a bit. Let's see, hmm. it is actually clear now. I think that's pretty much how how it looks melted. I was hoping it was kind of flowing into the mold. So let's keep it there for a little bit longer. Let's see. Another well, five minutes later, this thing actually turns, I don't know, brownish. Uh, I think it's too hot actually. I saw some fumes here too, so maybe this is too hot right now. Let's take it out. Let's see. As gooey it is. Yeah. Now let's just push it in there. Let's see what happens. Because I've layered it, I can easily take out the first layer here, but well, this doesn't really look like I expected, so let's try again. Actually, it didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. It's, it's quite okay. So I still think it was too hot, so let's try again. Alright, let's try it.
I think that's as good as it gets. Okay, so I pushed this thing in. Now we'll put a few more flakes around it. a few minutes checking in after about five minutes it's clear so I guess this time I didn't overheat it I was more like 200 Celsius now let's take it out and uh, that it has uh, taken the white color back so it's, it's it's becoming white again this time I didn't overheat first time it was too hot so Actually, I put my medium on low now, low temperature. And this seems to work much better. So, I'll put some more chips in here and put it back on the grill. Filled with more flakes here. Back on the grill. So I have about 160C, which is 300 Fahrenheit on my grill. And this seems to be the perfect temperature. See, it starts to be transparent, become transparent. A few more minutes. Okay, it's all transparent. Let's bring it over here. And push it down a little bit. Nice and transparent, as you can see. You already see the edges turning white. cools down quite quickly actually so I guess let it sit for a while let's see it's really only a couple of minutes later this thing is rock hard already but as you can see so you can already see the flakes that I cut with with my tool here with my scissors and it's it's you know the smaller the better i would just say here make it a little finer we need really very small flakes mold here one more run i'm still not happy with the with the results so uh what i did i, I cut actually a, a straight piece out here and just put it on top of it okay let's see if i put that in the in the grill for a few let's see how it looks like it out of the oven it looks like it's shrunk actually I mean it's nice and flat it's shrunk a little bit huh put some copper here to my vise not to destroy the thread uh, let's polish this thing up <laughs> actually not too bad first try it's kind of cool in case you wonder what that thing is for why i did all the work well i was missing one of these legs on my patio furniture Now, 
I don't anymore. Thanks for watching. Please press like if you like this video.